Hi traders, today we were watching the oil market and uh, and reading the order flow. Now this is during the period of uh, contract rollover, uh, and you can you can immediately uh, note the uh, uh, liquidity on both sides uh, of the bid and the offer, and that's pretty indicative of the rollover period. Uh, and uh, can be rather challenging to uh, to trade because there's a lot of back and forth and um, uh, price microstructures are broken uh, and uh, and pri then price continues the opposite way, uh, etc. And we witnessed exactly this. Now Bookmap helped us uh, because we can read the microstructure and we can read the order flow, uh, and uh, that's exactly what we did during this webinar. So originally we had a line down here around 48.65 or 64. Uh, and we were we saw a nice cluster of volume trade down at this level uh, into that high liquidity at 4865. Okay, we got a retest back up into uh, our, our trend line here, and then we were looking for um, uh, price to uh, continue to the downside uh, due to all of these transactions here and see price discovery uh, continue on below 65 here. All right, so as I'm in replay mode here. Let me go forward a little bit, and uh, we were starting to um, uh, to notice uh, this area here. Uh, it just really kind of dried up. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit, and we were we were looking for more volume to trade down at this area here. Instead, we didn't get it. Okay, uh, we can see these little um, uh, lows here at uh, at 66. No volume trading here. Very few contracts trading here and no contracts trading on these tests into that area here. That's when we started to note the shift in the uh, uh, in the uh, order flow. Uh, now we can see our trend line is broken, Okay, our structure is broken, and we start to note where the volume is trading. It's trading above the trend line here, up into this area here, and also above this little microstructural level here at uh, uh, 69. Okay, so we're now trading actually above above 69 into 70, and uh, it was this volume here uh, that started to give us the clues to the uh, to the push to the upside. Okay, uh, and uh, as we go forward, uh, that's exactly what we got. Okay, we were actually looking for a target up to, to uh, 48.80. Uh, and uh, we had another trend line drawn in there. We just came a, a couple ticks uh, short of that, as you can see here. Uh, and then we were looking to, to see what might unfold here. Uh, would we continue or not? And uh, this is where we started to change yet again. We note the, the nice cluster of volume trading down again here. This is what we were looking for uh, before. Uh, at this uh, 66, 65 level. Uh, therefore, at this point, we were looking for the break to the downside. And uh, as I uh, go forward here in replay mode, uh, we watched this uh, play out very nicely in real time and we saw the breakdown of that area. Now, as the webinar continues, uh, there was more trappy action. We were just, we were uh, analyzing and watching to see if we were gonna accept down below uh, this 65 or 64 breakdown, uh, and we didn't. Uh, so uh, uh, we witnessed that as well, and as the, as the webinar ended up, uh, uh, we were noting uh, this, uh, let's see here, it was right in, uh, let's see, this area here, okay? We were noting a nice cluster of volume right here around um, uh, 1132 or so, and um, uh, therefore, uh, looking for uh, another uh, switch uh, and uh, uh, for the uh, move to uh, occur to the upside. Okay, and as you can see, that's uh, what unfolded after the webinar had uh, uh, had stopped, and we did finally get that test of 48.80 up in this area. So a lot of back and forth. Uh, this is uh, uh, pretty common during the rollover period, uh, and we can uh, we can see that. Um, uh, uh, all play out uh, within Bookmap uh, in the order flow. It gives us very nice clues to what's going on uh, so we don't get trapped on the wrong side.